two uh, major reasons. I think uh, the first reason is that uh, for all Taiwanese to get a job nowadays is, is uh, the, the job market is really competitive. So um, back in 2008, also I already had a one master in Taiwan, which is from National Zhengzhou University for journalism. But still, that's not enough because in Taiwan, people, um, especially the employers, they value overseas degrees. So. That's the first reason. And the second reason is, is an, a, another obvious reason because digital media um, back in 2008 is not so popular in Taiwan and, and in some Asian universities. So uh, in Edinburgh, they have this premium degree, a premium course that the, the best, I, I believe, the best professors in the world who, made, who uh, specialize in digital media. So yeah, that's why I can. Uh, it was 2008. It was a global economic slowdown, and so I, I know it will be very hard to find a job there. So I actually I didn't consider I, I didn't for one minute I didn't consider it. Um, partly because I already got an offer in, in Taiwan before I before I graduated. So um, you know just and plus I have family because I'm uh, you know I was already a married man then. So <laughs> I need to go back and uh, I have a home here. So. Well, uh, I think it's a tricky. This is a tricky question because I'm going to uh, I'm going to say they value my degree very much because it, it, it because it did make job job seeking easier. So if you put it that way, you know you can say you know the Edinburgh degree is you know is is a very valuable, but. I came to realize that, that uh, most of Taiwanese employers, you know, those bosses, they don't really understand the difference between you know, Edinburgh and you know, other parts of the cities. They just thought, oh, you study in a well-known university. That's all they get. They, they didn't know, um, for example, how digital media is thriving in Edinburgh. So, you know, it's, it's kind of a uh, you know, 50-50 percent uh, stuff, you know. On the one hand, they, you know, the degree works. On the other, they don't really know what that, you know, implies, uh, actually. So, yes, actually, they, they prefer from English-speaking countries. So the ranking could be like uh, United States, United Kingdom, and Australia, uh, Australia and um, Japan, and the rest of the. I do have some friends who just stayed there after their graduation. You know, in UK. I mean, Taiwanese friends, and they eventually they did find some jobs, but it's not the jobs they that you know they 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 want to have in the first place because they, it, it might not be uh, you know um, in the field of their major, for example. So. Actually, I don't think, even without the financial crisis, I don't think it's easy to get a job, especially for the humanity and art students. Maybe for engineering, for maybe for bioscience, because um, in terms of those fields, uh, the culture thing doesn't matter. You know, like it's a mathematical stuff. But for that, like media, or cultural studies, or politics, or economies, I think culture might be a block to non-EU students in job seeking. I do have some friends who just stayed there after their graduation you know, in the UK. I mean, Taiwanese friends. And they eventually they did find some jobs, but it's not the jobs they, that you know, they, they, they want to have in the first place because they, it might not be uh, you know, um, in the field of their major. For example, so actually, I don't think even without the financial crisis, I don't think it's easy to get a job, especially for the humanity and art students. Maybe for engineering, for maybe for bioscience, because um, in terms of those fields, uh, the culture thing doesn't matter. You know, like it's a mathematical stuff. But for that, like media, or cultural studies, or politics, or economies. I think culture might be a block to non-EU students in job seeking. 
And if you have more questions, please visit the friend abroad.